if you look around here, you can see how flat it is around the places. But we still get a nice, uh, good wind comes through here most of the time. Apparently, uh, it's one of the windiest, second or third windiest place in the world, apparently. That's what I heard, but whether that's right or not. I used to work as a, uh, a sheep dipping contractor and on the Hannover Grader. Uh, I served my time as a apprentice carpenter in Coolgardie and I just came up here, uh, took up a bit of land and cleared it and just snowballed from there on. Never ever give it a thought that they ever built a wind farm. I didn't ever think that it would take off but uh, yeah, it got going and yeah, it's a pretty handy income. A lot of people take a lot of notice of them too, they, they'll look at them and if one stop for maintenance or something like that they'll inquire, ring up and find out what's going on. <laughs> they get cars and cars a day coming. Some of them stop on the side of the road. If I see them on the side of the road I just say go in. There you are. If I just follow the track around and if you're going through a gate just close it. How does it make you think about the income? Instead of having three cans a night now, six. <laughs> <laughs> it's not really for us, it's going to be for the family in the long run, yeah. And what we're uh, earning out of it now is a lot more than we would have been had they not been there. So, it's, uh, yeah, it's worked out good. It's guaranteed uh, income, so it's very handy. We don't have to sell now because the wind farm could keep us for the rest of our lives, yeah. I think they fit in quite well. I mean, I mean, for a start off, people used to say, oh, they look terrible, but people now say, oh, they look quite tranquil when they're, when they're driving around. And I think most of them uh, have taken a liking to it now, yeah. They're pretty handy, actually. You always know which uh, direction the wind's blowing. If you <laughs> want to go and do some burning or anything, you always just look at them and you know that where the wind is. People in the world go hundreds of kilometres just to look at them. And I just got to look up. <laughs> <laughs>